Right, everybody, we'll start with Coach. Uh, we'll start with Jen Hale, followed by Graf. Coach, congrats on the win. It was a game of runs, and I'm sure there are teaching points to be had, but nonetheless, your squad closed out a close one. What did you like best about the way they handled the end of the game? Well, we took care of the ball. Um, we were solid against pressure. Uh, we got some rebounds down at the end. Um, we didn't foul people down the stretch. We played the last um, two and a half, three minutes pretty professionally. And turnovers popped up and bitches some in the second quarter. What happened there? And overall, though, ball control seemed to be better tonight. Well, it was in the second half. It obviously wasn't in the second quarter, but um, in the second half, we did a better job. What changed, Coach? I don't have any idea. They just took care of the ball better. Okay. Weren't as careless. Thank you. Coach thought Eric Bledsoe really set the tone early in the ball game. He was able to get into the paint, not selling for jump shots, and that kind of opened everything up, especially in the first half. Yeah, I thought Eric played well on the offensive end of the floor. I thought he penetrated. He kept us pretty organized. I thought he did a, uh, he did a good job. But your bench really stepped up tonight. Is that the way it's going to have to be on a night-in, night-out basis, getting those contributions uh, from everyone who takes the floor? Well, we, we need as many people to play well on any given night as, as we can. I think probably every team would say the same thing there. Um, you know, we, we need to get solid play from a lot of guys. And Christian Clark here at NOLA.com, extremely efficient night for Zion. What allowed him, um, I guess, to be so efficient in this game? Well, I mean, he's just a really, really good player. I mean, I, you know, I don't think there was anything particular about tonight. Um, he's getting his legs under him. He's attacking the basket, um, you know, and only a little bit of it in the post tonight. You know, there wasn't really that many post-ups. It was really him going on the drive. So, um, you know, I, yeah, I thought he played really, really well. Made a couple of really good passes, too. Hey, Coach, this is Will from The Athletic. Kind of building off of Christian's question, you've been around a bunch of uh, great young players in this league. What's it been like seeing the, the efficiency uh, that Zion has on the offensive end and, you know, how, just how he's able to score on such, you know, a short amount of shots? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, he, he finds his way to the rim regardless of the defense, uh, and he's a great finisher. And, and I'm going to be honest, I, like, I don't want a $35,000 fine from the league office. I'm just going to say guys like him who are really strong – I mean, he probably should shoot twice as many free throws as he does because he doesn't get knocked off balance and fall down and all of that. Um, they just let him play through one early in the second half. There was one we could hear the slap at the other end. One of the refs said, yeah, I heard the slap too, but I didn't see it. Like, okay, but it's your job to see it. Um, like he's not even getting calls and, uh, and he's efficient. Hey, Coach, it's uh, Andrew from ESPN. Uh, obviously, you cut down on the turnovers there in the second half. You finish with 14 turnovers. Uh, they finish with 18 free throw attempts. Do you have set numbers in mind of, of what you would like to be under in the, in the turnover department and, and in giving up free throws to going into a certain game? Well, I would generally like to be down more closer to 12 in the turnovers, but 14 is pretty good for us because – we're a team that's going to be in the paint and playing in traffic a lot. So I think 14 is reasonable. I think 18 or fewer at the free throw line is good. So we were good in those two areas tonight. Um, you know, we didn't beat ourselves tonight. And uh, that was probably the most positive thing of the night. Hey, Stan, Scott Kushner, NOLA.com. Uh, just wondering what your thoughts were seeing Steven Adams close out the game the way he did at the free throw line. I mean, that seemed like that was kind of a, a pretty important thing uh, for him to be able to knock those down. And then just the way he, he performed late uh, seemed to really lift y'all toward the end. I mean, Steven's smart, tough. He's a winning basketball player. Yeah. Free throw shooting was his, his two there with three minutes to go, whatever it was, those were, those were huge for us. Uh, Christian Clark here again, some, some early minutes from Kyra. I mean, he didn't really get it going with his own shot, but, but five assists. Um, what did you just think about the way he was able to set some teammates up tonight? Yeah, Kyra's fine. Look, man, that guy's 19 years old and, you know, getting thrown in there. He's a, he's a good basketball player. I, I've told, I tell you guys all the time, like, you know, there's going to be some growing pains at, at 19 playing the point guard position, but, uh, 
his future is really, really bright. Um, that he's got the whole package. He's got the speed and quickness. He can shoot the ball. He can pass the ball. Um, and he's a great high character, uh, high character guy that, uh, is only going to get better because he's committed to being better and he wants to be coached. Um, yeah, I, I'm really excited about his future. Thank you, Stan. All right. Thank you very much, Coach.